so there are two ways to approach yourself you are an answer to your own existence what you are today this is an answer you have given to yourself and what will you be tomorrow this is also an answer you will provide to yourself so i think we should never play the blame game because this was the reason because this didn't work out because it ifs and buts in life so if you're not going to have this attitude today you are going to be responsible for your mess and you are responsible for your own success it's all about solving puzzles and then taking initiatives and decisions the more you're wasting time right now and it's fine to waste time you can drop the shuttle you can drop the ball you can run away from the game and you can say fine i don't care life is a bitter journey it's a big bitter drop you have to take it down your throat allah says in quran inna ka qadihun ila rabbika kadhan famulaki life is hard it's going to knock you down it's going to grind you down on the floor you have to work real hard but the starting point is a perception a thought a principle and an usool that i will not take my life for granted i am not a meaningless existence who just can be put in place anywhere how people wanted it to be i will not be defined by my own distorted self the leader inside me the imamat and qiyadat inside me with which i was born that will guide me right now and in the times coming future that i will never ever settle for less in my life i will not be taken for granted by myself in the system i live in i will not be defined as something called average i will not be taken lightly and calmly when thunders and storms are being discussed i am not 50 cents in a conversation i am meant to rule big kullukum ra'in wa kullukum mas'ulun an ra'yatihi prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam says every man is a king and every man will be questioned for the kingdom god gave him provided the influence and the impact he created amongst the people around him and the resources he involved in his struggle but if you want to define yourself and limit your potential and limit your dreams according to one canal a couple of cars and chachas and tais and the puppies and around you and how they wanted you to be to settle into the life status they have done it then beta how are you going to push those limits which no one perceived about you and even you didn't perceive about yourself how will you go and reach those heights if you always going to define yourself with the people around you and people next to you for you to be you other than the cosmetic you something a you that defines a lot of you the first thing you need to do is talk to yourself you have exams coming ahead and this is one station of life and life is stations upon stations upon stations upon stations sweetheart one is going to end the second one is ahead of you you're going to conquer that and the next one is waiting for you and a lot of people ask me where is it going to end man conquering his limits and his own self and finding those stations of life where is it going to end ran hatta ya sekal yakin till you meet your death you cannot stop being a man till you meet your final destination you cannot stop yourself from being that champion and conqueror in that field let me tell you something a good puzzle and a formula and the recipe of this life nothing is going to change if you're not going to change nothing is going to work for you if you're not going to work for yourself there are no miracles going to happen if you are not going to give miracle a miracle from your inside if you are not going to be above supernatural don't expect the heavens to come down and help you life is not a flu life is a beautiful pattern of and symmetries everything has a match behind it followed by a supernatural miracle you just cannot minus the match out of your life the match to be disciplined the match to be punctual the match to learn the art of putting the thing at the right place the work was shayal amaltahi the match to put your hearts and brains and your cells and molecules into a subject mathematically the max of defining your life into subjects and principles the max of hard work the max of muscle exertion the max of going through the grind you just cannot ignore the max of time management sleep management people's management resource management and you expect the miracle is going to happen with you get tie the camel first and then trust in your god you at your age can say i am young i do not know the charm of being at 40s i do not know the wisdom in the late 30s i might not, not know the charisma in the in the late 20s i am young i haven't got married i do not know what family errands is i do not know many things in life but i know one thing you can say to yourself i have self esteem i've got self respect 
I do not take myself for something as granted. I might not be knowing what you are saying, Sheikh Saab, but I have the will to bring the mountains under my feet with my consistency and persistence and perseverance. I might not be as wise and as sound as you in speech, but the words in my heart are far more eloquent than the words in your speech right now. The passion that burns in my heart is far enough to consume the entire universe in my own chest. I have the heart to tell those storms that are telling me, Oh, I am the one that should be feared. I am the storm that needs to be feared. So life is about an attitude, bacho. An attitude of a slave and an attitude of a leader, a lion. Nobody knows the pain behind that. The pain of patience, the pain of resilience, the pain of perseverance, the pain of being silent, the pain of falling down and walking forward, the pain of not getting off the grit and not exposing it to the world what his courage is. The pain of containing the pressure, the pain of containing the persona of being a lion. You need to decide for yourself which animal in the jungle represents your heart and the passion within you. You want to live a life of a slave, a sheep that follows without knowing, or a lion who embarks his own journey, manifests his own principles, establishes his own reigns and kingdoms.